AITA, my fiancé wants to become a stay-at-home fiancé. My fiancé, Emma, has come up with something really strange that I've never heard of before. We ended up having a big fight, and she thinks I'm acting like a jerk. I need some advice on whether what she's asking for is a real thing, and if I should be worried about it. I'm 30 years old and recently got engaged to Emma, who's 26. We met at work, where I'm a researcher in a big tech firm, and she works in marketing. We've been together for 2.5 years, and I was completely smitten by her from the moment we met at a company event. One thing I really admire about Emma is how organized she is. Her job involves planning events and marketing, and she's really good at it. But it also means she works long hours, unlike my more predictable desk job. I struggle with organization because of my ADD, and that's one of the reasons I love her, she helps make my life easier. We moved in together last summer, and that's when we had our first serious talk about finances. I make significantly more than her, around 15 times more, which surprised both of us when we found out. I offered to cover everything, but she wanted to contribute, so we split expenses proportionally to our incomes. Now, onto the issue at hand. We got engaged over the holidays, and Emma wanted a pricey diamond ring that cost around $15,000. I wasn't thrilled about spending that much, but she convinced me it was worth it because she'd wear it forever. She often brings up the cost of the ring when showing it off, which makes me uncomfortable, and I've asked her to stop, but she hasn't. Yesterday, she dropped a bombshell, she wants to quit her job next month to plan the wedding. She says she's tired of working long hours and wants to be a stay-at-home fiancé. I laughed because I'd never heard of such a thing. She argues that her student loan debt is small compared to what I make in a month and since we're a team now, she's not worried about it. But I don't feel right about her giving up her career at such a young age, especially since we're not planning on having kids for a while. I want her to be independent, even if something happens to me. We argued about it, and she thinks I'm wrong for wanting her to keep working when we can afford for her to stay home. On one hand, her income won't affect us much, but it just doesn't sit right with me. Is being a stay-at-home fiancé really a thing? I want to support her, but I feel like quitting her job is too soon for her age. Update, 8 days later. Don't forget to subscribe for more Reddit stories. It's been quite a journey since I posted about Emma's desire to become a stay-at-home fiancé. I initially shared the situation here because I found the term amusing, but the response made me realize it was time for a serious conversation. After a lot of contemplation, I decided to talk to Emma about her decision. We had a heart-to-heart -heart over dinner, trying to keep things supportive and respectful. At first, she got defensive, but I managed to convey my concerns without coming off as a jerk. I emphasized to Emma that my reservations weren't just about money. I acknowledged her hard work and talent in her field, and I expressed my worries about our financial security in the long run, especially given the unpredictability of my job. Emma opened up about feeling overwhelmed with wedding planning and burnt out from her current job. She explained how her boss was overworking her without adequate compensation, leaving her drained both physically and emotionally. We reached a compromise. Emma agreed to resign from her job later in the week to focus on wedding preparations, with the understanding that she'd start looking for new opportunities after our wedding and honeymoon. She expressed her desire for a job with more manageable hours and even considered going back to school for her master's. While the gold digger comments stung, I reflected on my own upbringing and how it influenced my perceptions. I realized that Emma isn't motivated by material things, she's genuinely hardworking and independent. She's the person I want to spend my life with, regardless of the ring on her finger. In the end, we resolved our differences and moved forward. I'm grateful for the chance to have an open dialogue and strengthen our relationship in the process.